begin a new series called Down the Street. There are stories featuring the unique characters that we all know make New Orleans the special town that it is. And in doing so, we get to welcome back a familiar face. Mike Haas is going to be traveling our area down the street. He That's joins right. us tonight. Good so to good to have you back. This so good great. to see you. No tie, got some jeans <laughs> on. I love this You new look game. so rested, rested too. Rested and refreshed. But you know, in this city, down the street, there's a new story all the, all the time. But for people that have lived here, and what, it takes a lot sometimes to take a double take at something you see in the French Quarter. I mean, really, what surprises us anymore? Well, we found a couple of cowboys walking their pets, and many had to look twice. Okay, so did you hear the one about the two former advertising executives walking llamas in Treme? And they meet a lady with an iguana on her neck. Yeah, it's not the start of a bad joke. It's a Tuesday afternoon in New Orleans. Usually walk them into the quarter. I get a drink, they get exercise, everybody goes home happy. You'll see somebody walk into the street with a drink and they'll stop and they'll look at the llama and look at their drink, look at the llama, pour their drink out. It's like, we gotta go home, hon. Scott Lloyd and Jim Farrell left their Atlanta advertising jobs to renovate houses here before Katrina. A few years ago, they got Tony Llama as a pet. Dolly, the Dolly Llama, for now, is just visiting, like Brian Jones from California. What'd you think of the llamas? Um, it's, <laughs> they're, they're real cute. The llamas have been in Treme for a while and people are getting kind of used to them. The French Quarter, that's a different story. I don't want to scare him. Oh, he's not going to scare him. It is not Tony's first selfie. Oh my God! <laughs> that's so cool. And the Quarter has a new feature. You didn't have that on the list, did you? Uh, the, the, no, I was check Dalai Lama. <laughs> I never thought John Lafitte and Dalai Lama would go together, but they do. There you go. Thank you, guys. Check it off the list. I'm just rubbing her. I'm just rubbing her. That's it. That's it. I'm just rubbing her. That's all. I don't mean no harm. And you can check llamas off the list for this local, too. This is the most interesting, beautiful experience right here for me. You know what I'm saying? Because where I'm from in this part of town, you don't get a chance to see this part of town. What? Yeah. That's right just down the street. <laughs> the two llamas joined 10 miniature horses, a zonkey, there it is, a zonkey, a cross between a donkey and a zebra, goats, yes, ducks, bunnies, and a whole lot more. They have a traveling petting zoo. They're all kept in a barn in the east. The llamas, they live right here in Treme. Are they good Pretty pets? Nice. They're very docile. They're not bad pets so that they're, uh, they don't mind being petted. They're great around people, but yeah. uh, I mean, they like walking around the corner. <laughs> like, well, Dalai Lama, thought. I would not have thought of that, but it's very Lama. cute. Pretty cool. <laughs> I love that you found him. I love that you're doing the series. Looking forward to it down the street. Be in your area soon, we hope. Come back Fantastic. soon. Fantastic. All right, for the second